It is the world's largest 10K, and the man who is in charge of organizing it joins us now. Welcome, Rich Kana. He is the executive director of the Atlanta Track Club. Rich, you know, I know a lot of people are probably looking for hookups from you. The race, <laughs> 60,000 people, you sell out every single year. Can, um, is it sold out, or can you get in the race to no, run it's, it? It's a little late to get in the race to actually participate in it. So we have our lottery. It's filled 60,000 folks. Uh, and, and, you know, as every year, the... Uh, the demand exceeds the supply of, uh, of uh, participant slots we have, but we're looking forward to, to a successful event. But there are other ways that you can get involved. It's interesting that you mentioned that because you can volunteer. Yes. And how? In which ways can you do that? So to put on an event, to put on an event like the world's largest 10K, the Peachtree, you need about 3,500 to 4,000 volunteers. Uh, we couldn't do it without our volunteers. We've had volunteers that have been doing it for decades, uh, and we still have some slots open. So. If you email volunteers at atlantatrackclub.org, that's volunteers at atlantatrackclub.org, we can slot you in and you can be part of not only the world's largest 10K, but the world's largest running party. Some of those positions are for being a volunteer, are you looking for folks at the water stations or like? We have, we have extra slots pretty much across the race, but mm -hmm. uh, the most critical spots are those fluid stations on the course to make sure that everyone gets enough hydration and stays cool so they can make it down there to the finish line to get their coveted finisher shirt and as a volunteer you get a a volunteer shirt and if you're okay i'll just yeah, that go ahead, show it to us. i'm not sure which camera i should be looking at here but but that's our that's our volunteer shirt this year this is not the finisher shirt so that's that's still a but state that's secret. still very uh, special to have that it, it in your collection of yes. clothing it is. Uh, do you, if you volunteer does that help you get a slot to run the race perhaps in the following year it doesn't. That's a great question. We, we have people who some years they run, some years they volunteer. But typically we have people that, as I had said, who are, who are volunteers and that's what they do and that's how they contribute to this majestic event called the AJC Peachtree Road Race. This race has taken on a celebrity of its own, very similar to perhaps Boston, even New York City's race, mm -hmm. iconic races. Uh, just curious, um, how many runners are from out of state, and do you limit the number of Georgia participants because there's only so many slots? Great question. So, so this year we've got 48 states and 21 countries represented, uh, but roughly 90% are from the state of Georgia. So this, this is how Atlanta celebrates the 4th of July. We don't limit uh, the participants from the state of Georgia. So where are some means. of those international runners coming from? Uh, every continent. So, really? So, yeah, you know, so out, of the, out of the Caribbean, South America, Europe, uh, you know, across the board. We're, we're, we're pleased that this has become a global phenomenon. Any elite runners that we should be looking for that has, you know, had their names splashed across newspapers, winning races elsewhere? Sure. So we've, we've got an Olympic gold medalist on the women's side, uh, Gwen Jorgensen, who, who will be chasing her a, a U.S. title. So we also double as the U.S. 10K championships for both men and women. Uh, and then we also have Tatiana McFadden, uh -huh. uh, who is the winningest athlete in Peachtree history, and she's chasing uh, her, her eighth title in the wheelchair competition. Wow. You know, I, I've, I did some checking. A lot of celebrities will be running. We've learned that young Jeezy, a sure. rapper, he's sure. going to be running with the mayor of Atlanta. Any other big names that spectators should be looking for on the race course? So the beautiful thing about the Peachtree is it, it's not not out of the realm of possibility that you're standing there in the start line with all of your 60,000 friends and you're right standing right next to an entertainer, a broadcaster mm -hmm. like yourself, a C-level executive, a CEO of some of those major Atlanta companies that we know about. So yes, you'll have plenty of celebrities out there. Yeah, the great equalizer is running. You know, exactly. running six <laughs> miles in the heat in Georgia, <laughs> exactly. it puts everyone on the same level. The Atlanta Truck Club, uh, you guys hold so many events throughout the year. Besides the Peachtree Road Race, what else do you have coming up? So we're a member-based organization, and our mission is to impact health and wellness through running and walking. So we have about 40 events a year, uh, So and we have something called our Triple Peach Series, and the 10K is our first step on that series. So if you participate in Peachtree and, and you liked what you got, uh, we've got a 10-miler, the PNC Atlanta 10-miler in October, and then our Thanksgiving Day race on Thanksgiving Day. And um, we know that security, obviously an issue. We've seen the incidences in um, Boston in other cities or internationally, whenever there's a large amount of people congregating in such a small mm -hmm. you know, circumference of square mileage, such as the race here, sure. how are you tackling the security issue? So as a race director, safety is, is pretty much my primary concern. My, you know, my goal is to get everyone from Lenox down to Piedmont Park as safely as possible. Uh, it's a year-long effort with APD leading the effort, but it's a combination of APD and other local, state, and federal agencies. Uh, so we feel very confident that, uh, that we'll be prepared to keep everybody safe on July 4th. There's a few things that you should keep 
you know, keep in mind. If you're carrying a bag around the start line or on the finish line, there are going to be checkpoints. Uh, if you are a participant, you're not going to be able to bring that bag to the start line. And if you are a family member meeting a participant in the, in the meadow, leave your bags at home. If you do bring your bag, you're going to be slowed down at a checkpoint. And what about the, the spectators when they're watching the race? Are you encouraging them to offer treats and snacks and drinks to the runners? Uh, I, it doesn't really matter what I encourage because they're, they're going to they, do, they're, it they're anyway. do it anyway. So <laughs> it's funny. My uh, my son uh, ran his first peach tree a couple of years ago, and he and he came across the line. And I'm a lifelong runner, uh, and so he's been around races his entire life. And he said, "Dad, he goes, Dad, I've never been in a race where they gave me a slice of pizza on the, on, on the course." So so yes. You, you name it, it's out there. Yeah, it's out there. Okay, but stick with the fluid stations. Those are safe, right? Yes, they are. Are you giving free goo? Usually most races do that. What for, are you doing for, as well? For 10K out on the course, all uh -huh. we have are, is water, keep everybody cool, and then once you get to the finish line, we have a cliff bar uh, providing uh, some, some, some post-race recovery yeah. snacks. You got a big band at the end? So we we've, can jam we've, to it? We've, we've got some radio stations along the course, and we've got a nice DJ right in the Pied okay. Piedmont Park for you. That's if I can breathe after it's all done with. Thank you so much for your time. This is Rich Kina with uh, Kina. 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 Let me make yeah. sure I get that right with the executive director of the Atlanta Track Club. We appreciate your time. Good luck with the race. Thanks for having me. All right, now that you've got those shoes laced up and you're ready to start running, how about tackling a marathon? Yeah, what well, we're talking about with six miles, this is 26.2. We're going to talk with one marathoner who runs in all 50 states. That's right. After this, we'll be right back.